scope of the person's influence. How big or how long or how valuable of a project can you single-handedly guarantee the delivery of? An E5, E6 in a company should be able to deliver the work of about 10 to 15 people. At E7, I'd expect a person to regularly impact the work of maybe 50 people. You would be a person that is driving technical direction for maybe around a team of about 50 people. You are regularly consulted on key changes on that team. As you get to eight and nine, those things just multiply out. I'd expect a director to regularly influence probably the work of 100 people. But it is very hard to create a bulleted to-do list of, oh, if you're E8, do these four things, and then we will move you to E9. Like how you become a professor somewhere. It's not like they have a bullet list that says, you publish 10 papers over three years in journals of this quality, and you're guaranteed tenure. At some level, it's all the other professors believe you're a professor. Those people excel in different ways that might not be well matched to what you're good at. The more important thing at those levels is a great coach that can give you feedback. Someone who is a decision maker in the promotion of, let's say, an eight to a nine. Then you can have a meaningful discussion.